colors. Being a painter, you get to find that something that nobody found before. This is why you cannot paint what you see, to create that emotion. You go outside, you know, what am I going to paint? In the beginning, you don't see. But now, the more I paint, the more it is those moments in my life. Nothing creates color like the moment you pick it. The more I forage, the more I realize that I have an opportunity to find colorful flavors. It's like tasting a moment. Where other people see weeds, I see potential in color and beautiful fabric. The common thread through my work is my personal experience with Newfoundland growing up here. I learned that color made people happy. My dad was a fisherman. My grandfather was a fisherman. My mom tells the story of my grandmother making cod stew on the beach. All the leftover parts as such, the heads, the sound bones sometimes, the tongues, nothing goes to waste. I think my passion for food comes from being told how hard it was to put it on the table. The act of creating with fiber was always something I did even when I was a child. Picking little pieces of dandelion fluffs and bog cotton and the inside of linden trees. I didn't play with dolls until I was old enough to make things for them. Dresses, beds or little household items and I try to make those with things that I found in the garden. Toys were a vehicle to creation. First of all, I don't follow any rules when I paint. I use any color at all. Sometimes I won't even look at my box, I just pick a color. I don't even think about it. But if it was one color we never saw before, if I could see that, little dot of color is all I need. I don't need more. A green door, contrast with gray or uh, something else. The fog is pink sometimes. The local plants give me shades from buttery yellows right to really rich golden browns, steel gray, beautiful khaki greens, the dead grass that's hay color golden. Then you get that really exciting shock of red that comes from the dogwood and the blueberry bushes. The weather in Newfoundland is always changing. Big contrast in the element, the cold, the warm. I like extremes. I want to feel cold if I do a snow painting. When you look at my painting, you get to feel where I am, what is around me, what the color, the smell, and always to uh, feel that day. Sometimes when it's windy, you got no control on the canvas, so you got no straight line. You put your paint on the canvas, and the bigger wind is going to move. You leave it. This is why I paint outside. Tomorrow, I cannot do that painting because it's not the same moment. Foraging in Newfoundland and Labrador goes back generations. The cuisine has come from off the land and the water. There's such an abundance of wild edibles. Newfoundland and Labrador is a gold mine for colors. Over the years, I did about 5,000 paintings. I've been in 808 community. Everything written on the map. Every cove is a studio for an artist. Production of color takes all my senses. I think that I could probably still know how to dye by scent and by touch. It's a part of who I am. Everything fades and wilts over time. The fade patterns tell a story. Mom always had a way to put a fine taste on a fee to supper. And here I am on the beach with my family all these years later. My favorite place is the one I'm going to go tomorrow. I'm chasing colors that I cannot see.
Regarde, c'est magnifique. »